Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living and I'm Marie. Uh, we hope everyone is doing great today. We want to welcome you to our Sunday chat this week. This is a Sunday, June the 9th, 2024. Mm -hmm. And our weather outside is just absolutely beautiful, sunshiny day. And looking through our glasses there, our gladioles are starting to bloom. And I love seeing those when we look outside, don't you, Marie? Yeah. But I believe you need to say looking through our glass door instead of saying looking through our glasses. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I got a lot on my mind today. Uh, we've got quite a bit to talk about today on our Sunday chat. And to be honest with you, our Sunday chat's going to be sad today. And uh, we're, we're going to try to keep it uh, uplifted and happy as we can. So, uh, But to get started, the first thing we want to talk about uh, we're going to let Marie do her devotion today first. Okay. And um, it says, He who is faithful witness to all these things says, Yes, I am coming soon. And that's Revelation 22, 20. And then the uh, scripture reading today is John 14, 3. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. And that's so reassuring, yes. knowing that um, if we belong to Christ, that uh, He's coming back for us one day. And if we pass on before He comes back, then we're going to be with Him one day. And that's um, reassuring when uh, things on this earth down here are not so pleasant and we have to deal with them but when we got uh, Christ in our life um, it makes everything um, easier to deal with and it's in the devotional uh, reading today is also um, praise God life on this earth it's not the end Jesus promised that when he returned to heaven he would prepare a place for you and then fit you to be with him there. In the meantime, you have the responsibility and opportunity to know Jesus better and better and to grow in obedience and service to him. That kind of living lays up treasures in heaven. Being a Christian is just not about heaven, it's about knowing Jesus in a real and personal way. And um, that's true too, when you do know Jesus and he lives in your heart, uh, he is a personal God to you, and um, you can talk to Him in prayer and uh, talk to Him like He's your friend, and that's what I do when I have difficult times. And like Kevin said, we had had something difficult that uh, we had to go through last week. And um, so when we have our, our Lord in our heart, He helps us get through so much that's hard to get through with on this earth. And sometimes it's hard to come on camera and be real happy and upbeat and um, everything when um, sad things happen. But um, sometimes it comes through in our faces when we're going through something. But we try to be upbeat and we want our uh, channel to be an uh, upbeat channel. And uh, we want it to be... Uh, we don't want to talk about sad things, but sad <laughs> things happen. It does. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Marie. And, and I forgot to say it was uh, the devotion was on John 14, 3. So thank you for saying that for me. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, this last week, Marie and I, we did have uh, doctor visits this week. Uh, yeah. We started off by going to our primary care doctor. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it was just basically a checkup. And we had to ha go back. We went back two days later and done the blood work. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had to wait on that because I went two days later to my cancer doctor also. And I wanted to see what blood work test he done so that my doctor wouldn't be duplicating the blood work. Mm -hmm. 
Right, because we don't want no bills that we don't have to pay, do we? No, if you, if you get it duplicated, you have to pay for one of them because uh, your Medicare won't cover it. Uh -huh. So anyway, uh, we'll, on Marie's blood work, uh, the main thing they were testing for came back good. So mm -hmm. every, it was right in the middle where she wanted it to be. So Even if they good. only got a drop of blood. <laughs> And you, you, you weren't able to give much blood, but no. it was good blood, wasn't it? Right. right. <laughs> so at least my uh, magnesium came up. It was low, so yeah. it came up. So yeah. that's good. It's in the good range now. I had to get um, it. My vitamins um, dosed um, more. You had to double it. Yeah, double it, yeah. But it's good now, yeah. so we'll keep it at that level, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. And then on my blood work, uh, the main thing that I was concerned about was my thyroid test because I'd been being so just physically exhausted that I couldn't hardly do anything yeah. for the longest. And uh, But they did increase my thyroid medicine six months ago. And so now my numbers are just now getting back and on this test yeah. they were in the normal range that's great and i can tell because i feel better i have more energy mm -hmm. i still get tired quicker than i think i should but i guess i'm almost 72 so i guess you're supposed to get tired <laughs> <laughs> but uh i'm thankful to god that uh, my thyroid numbers that's called a tsh test and i think my result was 3.5 so that is in the range that is good the last time they had checked it, it was 7.5, I believe, which is way, way too high. And then also, uh, I've been working on this a little bit, but on my sugar, mm -hmm. my A1C number, uh, when it was tested three or four months ago, it was 7.5, and this time it's down to a 6.6. .6. So I know that's still high. But for me, that is good because I do eat quite a few desserts and sweets I shouldn't be eating. Yeah. But I have been trying to be better, Hannah Marie. Yes. So, so anyway, so both of us, our blood work was good mm -hmm. and all that looks good. So we're happy about that. The next test that we have coming up is for me and that's in the month of July. So I've got three or four weeks. Don't have to worry about that, do we? <laughs> okay. And, uh, of course, we've been real busy this week with doing things like uh, cooking and videos. We made several videos this week. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, I do have something I want to talk to you about. But first, we're going to cover the videos that we did uh, this last week. And uh, the uh, first video we did was our Sunday chat. And we talk, talked about unexpected events and things happening. And I left a little hint there that something had happened, but I did not talk about it. The second video that we did, Marie made the chocolate sugar cookies. And boy, did Addison love them. <laughs> and I know another person <laughs> loved them too, Calvin. <laughs> Those things were fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, we, there weren't that many left over, but we put them in a plastic bag, and I kept them on the counter, and every, every evening I'll week last week I was going back and getting me a chocolate <laughs> cookie and uh, they were delicious okay the third video that we did we made the creamy uh, bean and sausage soup and I absolutely love that that is so good I just love good country food and that was delicious <laughs> it was delicious and correct me if I'm wrong Marie but now Marie's not a heavy eater but after she ate that bowl of soup, if I'm not mistaken, she came back in here and got a little bit more. Is that right? That happened several days ago. I'm not going to, <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> well, I think she did. But to me, that indicated it was very good because for her to want more, it had to be real good. <laughs> But I loved it. And the cornbread was delicious, too. Uh, it's oh, yeah. A, it's a good, easy way to make cornbread where you don't have to light your oven up <laughs> yeah, and I get forgot. your house warm. Even even if you have air conditioning on in the summertime, it still can get warm when um, you turn your oven on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, the next video we did, 
we did this video on the day that I went and uh, or was that the day we did our blood work? I'm not sure. No, no. I'll have to write yeah. everything down. <laughs> okay. The next video we did was on the day that I went to the cancer doctor and then immediately after the cancer doctor we went and did our blood work. And on that particular day I was extremely tired, didn't feel good that day. So in, we were going to go uh, thrifting, but instead of going thrifting, we went to McDonald's and got us a biscuit, mm -hmm. and we did our little doctor update there in the uh, parking lot at McDonald's. I did good today. I didn't eat a biscuit. Um, <laughs> I ate some um, Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so uh, then the next video we did last week was the video where we went thrifting at the Habitat for Humanity. And uh, on that particular video, we went and did something beforehand. Uh, we did several things that day, but the main thing we did was we went thrifting at Habitat for Humanity. And then afterwards, we went and had lunch with uh, Kim. Actually, it was uh, Cynthia, who is our daughter, Kim, who is our granddaughter, and Addison and Avery, who is our great-granddaughters. So there were four generations of uh, women there at yeah. that lunch. <laughs> but we enjoy doing that during the summertime. Cynthia can join us because she's a teacher and she's out during the summer. So right. we, we really enjoyed that. Okay, Marie. Uh, I purposely sort of skipped over on Sunday chat a little bit and didn't say much about that. So we're going to try to talk about this right now. <clears throat> Maybe a little hard, and y'all forgive me if I have a hard time saying what I'm going to try to say. And I'm going to step out and get a picture, and I'll be right back. Go ahead. Hmm. And so uh, I'm going to wait for Marie to come back. Okay, Marie is back, and she wanted to get a picture to show you. And this is a picture of our sweet little Gus. And this picture was made on the first day that uh, Kim got Gus. I, I believe that's the same picture, right? Yeah. I think that was the first day that she got Gus. If it wasn't the first day, it was within the first week or two. Yeah. But uh, Gus was 11 years old, and Gus passed away about 10 days ago. Yeah. And to us, it was just like losing uh, a family member. Yeah. But for Kim and Jonathan, uh, they got Gus. Gus is a a registered border collie and Kim went over to Alabama and got him uh, 11 years ago and Gus uh, Kim and Jonathan have raised him ever since he was a baby mm -hmm. and it was just like their child I mean they have so many memories with him mm -hmm. and um, of course I knew about this last week when we did Sunday chat and Kim had asked me not to say anything she wanted to do a video and so she has her video, uh, it's almost completed, and she said that she would have that video posted on her channel by the time you see this video on Sunday morning. And so uh, I'll leave you a link where you can go over to her channel and check that video out if you want to. Mm -hmm. uh, but Gus was such a sweet, precious little dog. Yes, he hardly ever barked and yeah. he was just the most gentlest loving little dog you've ever known and uh, him and addison he were a bulldog. just huh he wasn't a bulldog i didn't say a bulldog i said little dog a oh, little dog <laughs> i'm sorry there's another secret about calvin he can't hear very well <laughs> <laughs> okay okay and so uh anyway uh, addison and um Gus had bonded really, really good. Gus was a little jealous maybe at first when <laughs> Addison came into the world, but then he came to love her and they were really good pals. Um, Addison has taken this a little bit hard, but Cynthia has explained to um, Gus, I mean, has explained to Addison that um, Gus... Um, has went on to heaven and she explained it to him the best way she could. I mean, some people may object and say dogs don't go to heaven or and some people believe they do, but whatever your belief is, it was a good way to uh, express it to 
Addison so that she could understand it right now. And uh, so um, she still, you know, when she, they come in, Gus always greeted them and everything and all like that. And so she's had a few bad times with that, but um, she is adjusting, I think, now and understands that, uh, you know, Gus won't be with them anymore. And so it was hard for her at first. Yeah. And it, it's really hard for Jonathan and uh, um, Kim because, like Kevin said, they had had uh, Gus, you know, ever since practically their married life, their yeah. whole married life. Yeah. And uh, he was just like their baby for many years until yeah. Addison came along. Yeah. And um, now a lot of you do watch Kim's channel. And I know a few of you have been asking, is Kim okay? Because she hadn't had a video in the last 10 or 11 days. And the reason she hadn't had a video, she told me she just didn't feel like she could do a video right then. And she wanted to do a video that would be like a tribute to Gus. And so uh, it's, it was harder to make than she thought it was going to be. But she, I think she's got it ready now. And like I said, I'll leave you a link so you can go over and watch that video. And if you do watch it, I know that she'll appreciate it very much if you'll leave her a real sweet comment. And, um, and if you had not subscribed to her channel, uh, now would be a great time to go ahead and subscribe to her channel. Um, let's see. <clears throat> and the last time that we were down at Kim's house, uh, which was like a day or two before Gus passed away, mm -hmm. I'm going to show you some pictures here at the very end of this video. But uh, Gus came over to me. Now Gus has always loved on me, and he always jumps on me. He loves to play. Me and him used to play frisbee so much, and uh -huh. he just loves to play frisbee. Yeah. But and even as he's got older, he still wants to play with his frisbee. But he's not as energetic as he was. But he came over to me. We were inside the house. And I was not expecting it, had no idea, because we'd already been there for an hour at least. Mm -hmm. But we were getting close to time to leave. And he came over to me, and he just put his little head up against me, mm -hmm. and he just rubbed on me and loved and on me. And he was whining, you know, like they do when they're crying or they're yeah. hurting and stuff. And he did me the same way. He did. And when me and Kevin got in the car, I don't remember if I said this to Kevin, but I remember you thinking did. it. I was thinking that, I said, Gus is, I hope Gus ain't saying goodbye to us, you know. Yeah. But um, I felt like that, and so sure enough, he passed away. Yeah, I think that's what he was doing. He was telling us bye. Yeah. But um, he was just a special dog, and all of our pets, people that have pets, um, they've probably experienced one of their pets passing away and they know how it is you know also i had a pet that passed away a couple of years ago named angel it, and um it was my cat and so it it hurts just so bad when they pass away but you know time does heal but you know mm -hmm. in the meantime it's rough okay well anyway we just want to share that with you I had one talk about it last Sunday, but I promised Kim that I would not say anything until she told me to. Mm -hmm. And so we've got that uh, covered now. That's really all that we had to talk about today. That's pretty much enough. Mm -hmm. But we love everybody. We appreciate you. Mm -hmm. And like I said, if you will, go over and check Kim's channel out and uh, watch that video, and she will appreciate it, okay? Mm -hmm. Maria, I'll let you close. Okay. Uh, y'all have a great day, and so y'all do what you love and love what you do, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.